Hey guys, it's me Liv. So today I'm bringing you the box that I did for Scrap the World's uh, July uh, It's a Link Challenge. So every month she usually does some type of challenge that we can participate in um, and possibly win a prize for it. So for this month it is this uh, three box um, mini embellishment box. Uh, so I created using the Bow Bunny Be For You uh, collection paper. I know you guys have seen me create tons of things with this. I still have so much left um, and I'm on a mission to try to pretty much use it all. So that is my goal. You're going to see probably two more projects that I have um, with this paper um, and I really just wanted to make sure that I utilize it. First of all, it's beautiful paper. Um, I know so if you can see um, if you guys like this uh, bunny theme type of paper. Um, and B, it's got bees, it's got um, um, nature, uh, the, all those kinds of things, flowers. So it's right up my alley. So what I did is I took one of the journal cards to put on top, had, pull out some of my um, little, not sequins, um, dots that I have in my stash. I'm blinking right now. I think I'm tired. It's been a long day. But anyway. So I just wanted to quickly show this to you because this challenge is almost over and I can't deal with that anymore. So you can um, actually close it whichever way you want. I have a whole bunch of these um, sticky Velcro strips in my stash. So that is what I use. Um, in her video, she used a magnet. Another um, one she showed, uh, there, someone used ribbon. So it's completely up to you. So if we do use chipboard underneath, you can definitely go and watch her tutorial if you want to see a step-by-step -step of how it was done. Um, but I decorated the inside and then you're going to see that there's three little boxes that go inside. Um, in her video, she did it with solid paper and then came back and decorated it. Um, because I had a mission to try to use up as much of this paper and try to save myself just a little bit of time. I went ahead and used some of the um, cardstock. Uh, this was probably one of the simplest projects I've done in a really long time. The only challenge I really had with it is this um, middle spawn and getting my paper to stay really well. Uh, but it really probably took, I would say, no more than 10, 15 minutes to complete, which is fantastic. Um, very, very easy to do. Uh, but anyway, so you make these three little boxes, you put them in, you can put them as close together as you want, you can space them out if you want. Um, I decorated the front of it, so hopefully you guys can see it. Again, put some chipboard pieces there from my stash. Um, it's, it's coming loose just a little bit. Uh, and then, so you can get a sense of the size. Um, this is probably the size um, of the items you can put. So in this one, I have some sequins. I have some mini... Um, domes that you can use if you want to create like a shaker out of it. I put some flowers in the middle one. I probably could fit some more. I put some of the Swallet Ephemera that went with this set in here just so you can get a sense of kind of what kind of stuff you can fit in here. So it's not going to have huge embellishments in here but it definitely can fit um, a lot of things that we all love to craft with. Um, you know, it could fit um, something like, I'm just going to grab something over here. Um, it could fit one of your glitters, no problem. If you have some glitter, it can fit um, small ink pads like this. So it's definitely a cute little size. Um, this is also a great idea for maybe um, little treats. Um, so I'm actually planning to do another one in a Halloween theme. Um, once I get around to it, uh, just so you guys can see, it can be utilized in more ways than one and um, decorate my top a little bit more. But anyway, so then for me, like I said, I just took a strip of paper. I'm going to show you what underneath. Now that I think about it, it probably would have been better to put it under this piece versus here. But... That's what happens when you do something the first time. You try it and you realize there's ways you can improve it, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, but then, you know, just scored it here. And ta-da! That is my mini embellishment box um, 
that I created. Thank you so much to Tamika for this awesome tutorial. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing this again. This is super adorable. Um, and, you know, with this cards, this, um, the out exterior is chipboard. Uh, this would actually also be great, though I wouldn't use such a big spine. Uh, if you want to do an album out of this, it's the same as that concept of how you do um, an album, too, um, in regards to using the chipboard top. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a sense of what this project, my version of this project, looked like. And um, check out all the different uh, participants who have um, entered also into to Scrap the World's uh, it's a link challenge for the month of July. Um, I've seen some really beautiful uh, variations of this. One of the things that I do love when multiple people do any um, tutorials, just seeing how unique each of their own creations come out. Uh, great to see all that creativity out there. But anyway, I'm going to stop babbling. I hope everyone has a great night and I will talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye.